the challenge starts with the persecution that happens overseas, even before the individuals uh, jump on that boat desperately to find safety in an advanced country such as uh, ours. And from that journey, they jump on that boat. And when they arrive on our shores, uh, they've talked about the different detention centers. And when you look at the mental health component of the individuals who face a persecution, others have come from uh, prisons, others have been severely tortured uh, in their countries prior to migrating to Australia. Others have spent uh, many years in refugee camps where they can't even access uh, basics. They live in appalling conditions for 10, 20, 30 years with no uncertainty. So when the media and all pol and politicians talk of the queues, I would be interested to know where that queue is. And when we release them out of uh, detention into community detention for those that have a chance, their lives have been turned upside down. They are, they are at that state of acute mental health that someone is 24 hours dependent on antidepressants. They can't contribute to improve their welfare. They can't improve the welfare of their family. They can't contribute to the nation. And for those that can contribute, we've decided, look, we've released you from detention, uh, but hey, you have no education rights, you have no work rights. Then we turn around and say, asylum seekers and refugees are dull bludgers. They are dependent on our welfare and all that stuff. It doesn't make sense that uh, we release someone into community detention and then we say, you can't work to improve uh, your life or your family's life. And those are things that contribute uh, to the deterioration of the uh, mental health and well-being of the individuals uh, to the extent that we leave them dysfunctional and turn around and complain uh, that they are not contributing uh, to the Australian economy. It's the responsibility of each and every one of us to be involved in an honest conversation and not one necessarily driven by politicians and the media.